YouTube, what's up, man? Today's video, we're going over Q&As on the anonymous version. The internet's already weird, and y'all with the anime avies are asking weird questions. Now there's some app that's anonymous. Follow me, Son Mike on Instagram, Third Street Barbell on Instagram, Sebastian Brambigia underscore on Instagram. We're gonna dive in. Squat day and a full pull workout. We're getting veiny, man. We're getting vascular 201 today. I did a little consult with Coach JPG coaching, and we're getting shredded, nasty, sick, dick skin lean. All right, first question. Preparing to lift 315 on the bench while only weighing 150. That's a big old bench. Um, only 20 pounds away, how do you mentally prepare for a heavy lift? Um, you know, I think that's why powerlifting is so simple in theory, but so complex and difficult in practice, is it's about just doing the same things over and over and over again. So if you're benching 295 right now or whatever, I'm benching 135, I'm taking the barbell all the way up to 295 and I'm doing it exactly, not only pressing as hard, but my setup, my execution is exactly like the, what it'll be when I try 315, when I try 365, when I try 405. Um, obviously things can get in your head and you're scared of the three plates and you're like, man, I've never touched this. Am I gonna miss it? Am I gonna make it? There's a little bit of fear involved. Um, but that's why the practice, the uh, superstition or the tradition or the routine of lifting has to be the exact same. When I walk out this 135 squat, I'm, I'm executing and doing every step, every breath, the exact same as when I'm gonna squat 600. Um, beyond that, obviously some loud music, Ian thinks some angry thoughts, all those people do some of that. Some people will be bashing their head on the wall, sniffing ammonia. Yeah, you gotta talk, yeah, you turn on angry Metallica or whatever, but um, honestly, I think concentration is more important than getting hyped up. Getting a little bit hyped up can help. Um, and beyond that, it's just practice, man. Practice, 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 and you may miss it. Talk about practice. Practice. When I missed a 405, uh, or when I, I benched 405 like two or three times, and I missed it twice going up into it. And it's just kind of part of the game. If you're, if you're taking new balance and going to new, new spaces, things may go wrong technically, or you may not just be strong enough. But uh, sacrificing for the unknown is the saying we say. So you want to put in a certain amount of work, you want to follow your program, you want to get your sleep, you want to get your nutrition for six weeks to bench that 315. Um, whether that 315 comes or not, either way, you have to set yourself up for the best uh, chance for success. I used to call this like the get to know Mike episode because a lot of these, which is cool, I love it, and that's why we podcast. And that's why, I mean, if you guys been rocking with me, I just talked to a homeboy, uh, like, she said he followed me, subscribed to me for like, I guess almost 10 years. He said 2015. So that's crazy. Uh, so a lot of you might know some of this stuff, but um, I guess a get to know me episode. Uh, if you were to move from California, where would you go? Um, and we're gonna dive into like politics or nothing crazy. So I, I was born in Portland, Oregon. And we moved around a bunch for my dad's work. And then we just settled in Sacramento. Um, my mom's not from this country, so I don't have a lot of family. Uh, and my mom's here in Sacramento. So obviously we have the business, 3SB. Uh, I own a home here. And a lot of those things are what keep me in stack. And truly, I do love our city. It's a small city, really good food, good vibes, good people. Um, weather gets a little hot, but it's not that crazy. Uh, where I live and where the gym is, yeah, I ride my bike everywhere. Like, I really do like the vibes, it's pretty. The truth is, I'm kind of antisocial. Um, I, I wouldn't say I'm like socially awkward, but I, I just don't love doing a lot of things that people my age are doing. So, um, I can kind of live anywhere. If I could get good internet, I like my house, it's stable. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I, I visited most places in America, and there's not a lot of places I'd be like, no, I'm never gonna live there. Um, there is, uh, I didn't get, I was like recruited out of high school for basketball, but not like highly recruited. But currently, now that I'm 33, there's a big recruitment for me to go to Las Vegas. There's a big recruitment, and, and, and there's, a, there's a scout, there's a scout that's been hitting me up nearly weekly, two of them really. There's a couple scout, it's a pairing, that have been, that, yeah, that have been recruiting me to go to Vegas. So I'll never say never, 
Um, at this time, we, I got a lot of energy and focus here at the gym and growing the, not only the community here, which is amazing, Seabass is a big part of it, Eddie helping me grow this in person. Um, and once we kind of get that maybe more stable, I'll look into it. Uh, housing out here is crazy, and there's a lot of factors that make you know make me one lucky and blessed that I bought my house when I did. But um, potential to move, potential. Uh, just never say never. But again, it, it, man, if I got good internet, good food, and I got some homies around me, I, yeah, I can live anywhere. Hey, hey. All right, dude. We can't like answer them all because there's so much going on. But there's like like five like dating questions in a row. Why do they think I know how to date and nobody? On what? Give me something. Uh, Taylor Lautner. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Robert Pattinson. Oh, Smash. Yeah, I'll smash a vampire. Smash. Dude. He's always a vampire. He's never going to be a uh, Batman. Never. He's a fucking vampire. Um, after I bench, my wrists really hurt and pop like when you crack your knuckles. Tips. I don't know about the... the Cracking, maybe you should go to a physical therapist or something, I don't know. Um, but a lot of times what happens, follow me, friends. I feel like Mr. Rogers, come on inside. Um, if you start benching and a lot of the weight is held up here in these knuckles, uh, you're gonna get a lot of flexion here and that's probably gonna add pressure and a little bit of pain. Um, when I'm trying to bench, I'm really trying to get it on this bone right here. This bone is obviously this forearm bone and same thing when we're squatting or deadlifting, we're trying to stack our joints. You're gonna be stronger when you're stacked up. And so often a tip I'll give people is, is you kind of fake a suicide grip here with no thumb. You'll get that meat right here and you'll feel these bones and then wrap your thumb after. But that bar should be sitting vertically right here. If it gets again in the back of the wrist, I know you're gonna say, well, my favorite lifter, so-and-so, has it up here. That's fine, but he's not the one complaining about wrist pain. So if we're gonna fix the wrist pain, the other opportunity is to use wrist wraps. And uh, I can steal the boys in a second. I'll show you how to wrap a wrist properly. Because a lot of times people actually end up wrapping their forearm down here, and that's not gonna help or give any support at all. It's the same with like your belt. You're gonna try to wrap it almost halfway up your hand, and you wanna cover the joint 50% on both sides. 50 here, 50 here, and that's gonna stabilize this joint from wiggling around. Big stacks. My pockets on creatine. Little Wayne. That's really good. Bro, that was in like 2008, and people still to this day don't even know creatine or what it is. And Lil Wayne's rapping about creatine in 2008. So, so many questions. I want to educate you all on some fitness things, but all, I swear, I just read almost 50% of the questions to the boys, and they're all like personal. So, personal vlog it is. Plans for a family or no? Nah? Now, I don't know what you guys believe in, my boys, or the fam here. Um, one true love or fate or whatever. I don't really care what you believe in because I think that a partner or even friendship are one of the few things you can't um, like work towards. Uh, in a friendship and in a partnership, you need to work, but that's not what I'm saying. So if you have a goal to bench 315, we can build a plan, put in the effort and execute. I don't think friendship Good friendship, real deep depth to a friendship or a partnership, I don't think effort will ever equate to more success in that spot. Um, I think you can put yourself in more advantageous positions, right? If you meet more people, you'll be able to filter. And so, um, like, I, my point is that if I planned a family, if I just go get married tomorrow just because I want kids because I have this goal, yeah, but chances are I'm going to settle. Um, or, or not be happy or not, in my opinion, find the right partnership. And no offense, but I think a lot of people do that in this world. They feel lonely, they can't be alone with themselves. Society or your family or your own personal pressure to build a, a career and have kids is overpowering to your happiness or finding the right person. And same with like businesses. Like people have asked me to open a gym since I closed my last one in 2010. And I didn't want to open a gym until the situation's right. Um, in this situation, because of the nostalgia, because this is where I started the podcast in 2011, it all fit, so I did it. People asked me to sell merch in 2014. I didn't sell my own merch until I had the creative juices, the time and energy I wanted to actually create the highest quality products I can. And, and a partnership's the same for me. So um, I've always said I, I don't plan on having kids or getting married, or I don't, I've always said I don't have a future that I see with that, but if the right person comes, I'm, I'm, I'm open, man. I'm, I'm, about to be, I'm about to be 34 in a couple days. And so, like, you know, things change. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just about to peak. 
I'll probably peak at like 38. I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a sexy 38 year old. Uh, I think you peak every 20 years. And when I was about 16, I was a dime piece. Oh yeah. At 16, yeah, I was hot. I was hot. So we're expecting 38. I'm gonna come around the lull of being ugly for the last 20 years. But uh, I'm ain't pretty. You know, we're gonna get pretty. We're getting jacked. Yeah. So no plans. I'm not against kids. I'm not for kids. I'm not gonna force a marriage. But if the partner shows up and, and the vibes right, we vibe it right off to the sunset on my chariot. Thanks for watching brand new videos every Tuesday, Thursday. It's fun little anonymous Q&A. If you guys want to get involved in more Q&As, follow me on Instagram, soundmike2ks. 3sb.co, shorts are available. A couple new tees, just a basic foundation drop, so not a full collection. Um, just a repeating drop of our main branding so you guys can rep the good company, rep the crew.